What's going on everybody? Welcome to another episode of Fish and Grubs. Today's a special day. We got Flo here. Flo Tro, go subscribe to his channel. John, we finally get to meet. Make sure you go check his channel out. Becca, she brought me this lovely yellow yak over here. Since mine's <laughs> the famous yellow OG yak. <laughs> Since mine's in storage. It's open water. It's February. I'm in Rhode Island. We're gonna go for salmon, uh, possibly trout, and who knows, we might even catch a bass. Just because that's always what happens when I go for species that I don't catch. The water temp's gotta be pretty low. There's ice on half of the pond, so I'm assuming it's in the uh, mid-30s to you know low 40s in some areas. We'll see what we can put together. Let's get out there. Yes, what is it? John's on. Yes! He's got one! Salmon? Oh, hell yeah. That could be a big brown, bro. I can grab him if you get him up to me. That's a big brown. That's a big brown, bro. Yeah, buddy. Bud, that is a stud. Nice. Oh my goodness. I knew there was fish right here. That's so cool. Good way to start the day, John. Hell yeah. Let him go for somebody else to get him. You're gonna see a little kid's TV. A lot of little kids fish here. Really? Freaking awesome. Sweet. Dope. Heck yeah, man. Yes. <laughs> You're crazy. Fuck. I quit. I quit fishing. They definitely want something that's moving. Yep. Yep. A, that's a salmon. That's yes! Yes, dude, keep them. Oh, that is hey, awesome. Right here, if you open this up, put your salmon in. This makes like <sighs> Let me see. Get some. Contact. Oh my goodness gracious. Buddy just caught a salmon. <laughs> that's a dark salmon, too. That's, that's so awesome. cool. That's sick. I didn't care if I got one or not, but that just made my gosh darn day. <laughs> <laughs> it didn't get him in the snoot. I wish it did. Got it right in his bottom lip. <laughs> Close enough to the snoot. Close to the snoot rush. Just the way we like it, bud. <laughs> yeah, you just touch the salmon. I might. <laughs> wow, you literally have white shit all over you. Like he came Listen, you. it's a girl. No, she's turned on by It's her. a girl. Wow, you turned this on. <laughs> Listen, it's a girl. <laughs> I don't know, man. You had a date on or something. <laughs> yeah, I don't either. <laughs> 
Like, if it was skinny, I'd be like, okay. Maybe it was four. But, like, no. another salmon <laughs> so stoked <laughs> you want it you want it yeah how strong is that one I got one yes double up no <sighs> we doubled up for a second. It's okay, yeah, double up. It was a second. It was it was the best second of my life though. <laughs> That's what she said. <laughs> oh, that was a bass. That is actually a fish. What do we got? Oh, it's a pickerel. <laughs> oh, a little baby, baby, baby slime carp. Right after the first bass of the year that we missed, we slammed the first pickerel in the year, of course. A giant folks, freaking tank. Peace, bud. Gotta go teach the press the little bitches. Have fun. Thank you. Have a good time home. <laughs> oh, I will. All right, little midday update. We are about to leave this spot and uh, see if we can go catch us like some panfish or bass. We're doing some float flies or whatever. I don't even know how to, whatever it's called. Anyways, still hanging out with these guys. Becca took off. She had to go do some class deal. And uh, if she doesn't get a second win, I don't think we're gonna see her for the rest of the day. But we're gonna go still have some fun. Hopefully we catch a few more fish, you'll see it. What? Yeah, you said fall fish? Yeah. That's big bass. It was like two seconds. That's awesome, dude. They like the stream water. Yeah. They got like a purple color. I got the skunk out. <laughs> yeah. yeah. purple? Oh. So feisty. Oh, dude, chill. They stink too. Or they're slimy. Yeah, they're... <laughs> He's really slimy. Woo! <laughs> Hell yeah. There he is. A fall, probably yeah, another fall fish. It's another fall fish? Yeah, you can yep. tell by the way they fight. They actually fight pretty damn good. I've caught them like it's three times a, it's a double up. <laughs> That's right. awesome. Get yourself out there. You I need to. For fall fish, you want to be about that far down. So it's kind of touching the bottom. Yeah. Oh, dude, I'm on again. Huh? Another fall fish. Someone's coming in here. What the fuck? <laughs> These things are big. No, dude, they're bigger in there. In here. Got one.
You, oh shit, you got another one. <laughs> this is the prettiest one, but he's beat up the most. Look at like something got him. Oh yeah. Either a pickerel or a um, bird. What do you have for a trailer? One of those little things that he's got. Dope. What'd you call it? The Maki bait. Here, croaking. <laughs> <laughs> That yeah. is awesome. One of those, is that what you're using too? No, he's got the I'm gulp. I'm using uh, one of those minnows, but the Maki baits are in there too. Yeah, I think you have to be, like, you might have to be further down. It's like a pink. Dude, it's, it's a big one. I thought it was a trout at first. Mm -hmm. That's a good one. There you go. Yeah. Just on him. On that the fall like fish. Look at that. That's dope. Yeah, it's a really pretty fish. They're so awkward. It's even more awkward to hold. <laughs> and they sling poop on you. Finally! There you go. <laughs> Stay pinned! <laughs> right in the snoot rush. Just the way we like it, boys. Fox River ice fishing rod. <laughs> Man, two ponds and haven't been skunked at either one. That's that's a new record for me after, you know, ice fishing. I usually get skunked like my first three times out on the water. I'm just glad I got one. Almost got a second one. Multi-species. Three ponds, three species, or something like that. In 1.8 miles, turn right onto Phoenix Avenue. Oh, you shut your mouth, Siri. See what we can do here. Spot number three. Hoping to get another species under our belt today. And there it is. That's another species. Oh, look at this thing. Clear water bluegill. That's awesome. That'd be awesome, huh? Yeah, really cool color. It's almost like crappie, too. Yeah. Uh, new yeah. species, crappie bluegill. <laughs> Crappy gill. Oh, the gill? Uh, that's eater size. Look at the color of this one now, man. It's all green, green in his face. That's cool. I'm having a freaking day, dude. Oh, I just want to catch a bluegill. Come on, take it. Yes. Yes. I 
I saw. Dude. That was at two blocks at least. Nice. Skunk is off. Is that the dad? Nice. They finally left Jake alone. Sweet. Wait, turned on. It went from no fish at all to like three fish in like two seconds. Peace, bud. I wonder what he ate. Ah, oh, you fucking penis. Is that a bass? <laughs> oh no. It's just a gill. I think that's a It's a gill. Yeah, it's a gill. That's a beaut though. Finally got something. Is that your first one here? Yes. Yeah, I just Ooh. got a bluegill a minute ago too. Yeah, <laughs> nice. Thank goodness. Switched it up to a smaller hook so I could at least get something. Yep. <laughs> All right. Take it. Peace, bro. <laughs> oh, nice. Micro, baby. <laughs> That's the first bass. Huh? State record. <laughs> first bass actually brought on shore today. Dude, this would be perfect for a fish tank. <laughs> yeah, but, but dude, that is such a tiny bass. Killing it. Yeah. All right, so a bit of a drop, but it'll be all right. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that about sums up today's wild and wacky episode. Thanks to John here, Jake here, and Becca, who is no longer with us. Um, we had a freaking fantastic day on the water. This is definitely by far the best I've ever done after ice fishing. You know, like my first open water day of the season and I didn't get skunked at a single pond. Well, unless you want to count this one, but it doesn't really count. We're finishing up here in the golf course. You know, you get the flag here. Jake just caught the smallest bass I might have ever seen in my life. <laughs> Got my first ever salmon on purpose on purpose we're gonna go home and, and cook that up so stay tuned for the cooking part uh if you have not subscribed already do me a favor hit the subscribe button hit the bell as well because we're gonna be doing more goofy shit because that's what we do thanks for tuning in to another episode of fishing grubs fish out Is a bass? I don't know if there's any bluegill in here. Sweet. <laughs> Fish tank room. get this thing heated up real good throw some butter in there uh, so that it's so hot that as soon as the butter hits the pan it starts to caramelize so we're gonna leave the skin on put it down skin down into the pan 
get that skin nice and crispy, turn it over, cook it for another minute maybe on the other side. But we're gonna fillet this thing pretty much the same way we would fillet a bluegill, a perch, a walleye. And we're gonna come in as usual, right here, behind the gill, behind the fin, come in an angle, cut back along the spine, and then fillet her as normal. Let's hope they taste as good as they look. <laughs> Lemon pepper seasoning. Jameson's about to try this shit for the first time ever. Grab a plate and throw that slab right on there. I already tried a bite to make sure it didn't suck. I'm so excited. First bite. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Is it as good as regular salmon? It's, well, it's as good, yes, and not better. <laughs> <laughs> yes! <laughs> I can't get over how good it is. Did you eat the skin? I did. It's good. Oh my god, it is so good. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck. And you did good, man. Guys, if you haven't tried landlocked salmon, you're missing out.